In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in K2Cr2O7. That's potassium dichromate. And we use these rules here to help find out the oxidation number. So let's take a look. What do we know? We know that group 1, the potassiums in group 1, those have a charge of plus 1. So the oxidation number is plus 1. The chromium, we don't know. That's not in our list. But we do know that oxygen is almost always minus 2, with a few exceptions. So each of these seven oxygens, each one, is a minus 2. We also know that in a neutral compound, and this compound here overall has a charge of 0, all of the oxidation numbers have to add up to that 0 there. So we have enough information to figure out the oxidation number on the chromiums now. Let's do that. We know 2 times plus 1, that's 2, plus, we don't know the chromiums, and then plus 7 times minus 2, that's minus 14. All of that needs to equal this 0 here. So 2 plus 12, that would give us 14. Add the negative 14, we get the 0. So 12, that's what we need. But we have two chromiums, so we need to take half of that. So each chromium is going to have an oxidation number of plus 6. 2 times plus 6, that gives us our 12. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements we know. Then we use this rule here that in a neutral compound, all of those numbers add up to zero to figure out the one we didn't know, in this case, the chromium. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for K2Cr2O7, potassium dichromate. Thanks for watching.